Hey folks, B.O.B. here. Thought I'd take a moment today to show you how to use Mod Folder Manager in FS19 Dashboard. This is a really handy feature. Now the reasoning behind this is that when you first install the game, it creates a folder, a default mod folder in this path and it's usually this path it can be different but if you just install it out of the box this is where it creates a mods folder problem is that when every time the game loads it loads everything in that mod folder so if you have more than one map in that folder when all that stuff loads into the game sometimes there's what's called bleeding and the information it, it gets between two three or four maps however many maps you have in there can uh, cause some real problems I mean it'll cause game crashes it, it just depends on the map what's in installed in the map and of course any mods that you have in there that are conflicting it just causes a lot of problems so that was the birth of Mod Folder Manager. Now in FS19 Dashboard, you can add up to 40 maps. The game will only handle 20 at a time, but as you can see, I like to play maps. So up at the top, you can program this that it runs an executable when you click on the button. Now this should work for almost all executables. Uh, it, it doesn't work real well for Notepad++ because of the path thing that it has in it. But it works for just about everything else. Okay, so the idea here is you create a folder and put the map and all the mods you want to use for that map into that folder. And that stops that, that bleeding. And, and it separates everything from itself so that it, you, you're going to have a lot fewer problems. Uh, especially if you have a lot of maps in, in this default folder. So, the little X in, in the button is to clear the button. After you do, it automatically sets it back to the default folder, but then you can pick any other map you want. This is the current map that I'm playing. I'm building a, using the landscaping tool and placeables. So, in order to, to create a button for a new map, you would create the folder wherever you want it on any hard drive. And, uh, like I said, put the map zip in there and all the mod zips that you want to use with that map. And then find yourself an empty button, which will, is indicated by this. Go to your map folder and expand it. We'll pick the same one again that was in there. It'll take the folder name and put it in here as a name, although you can change it to whatever you want. Okay, so when you're done, it automatically selects that folder and it tells the game to use the mods and map in this folder here. So before you fire up the game, you come in here and you select which map you want to play. And uh, 
It'll tell the game to load that folder, and then you can just uh, create a new save game using that map, just like you normally would. Or, if it's already been created, you just come in here and click the button, and then fire up the game. And uh, you're good to go. Now, some of the other features on here is like if you want to change the name, you click on the O in the upper right corner, make your changes, and it automatically does that for you. Now, if you want to view the folder, the map folder that uh, all this stuff is in, you create the you click the V button. And that will take you to that folder. And if you want to go there for whatever reason, you can add mods through there. But I just added a new feature, which is the copy mods in the lower left corner, the little C button here, you click on that. It'll ask you which mods that you want to copy. Well, let's say I want to copy one from this map. Start getting aligned here. Okay, now it asks you if you want to open the map folder after you, you copy the files. Let's choose yes. And here it'll tell you what it's going to copy. If everything looks good, if you want to cancel, this is the time to do it. If you want to copy them, Click copy and wait for it to copy. And there it's done. It opens up the folder afterwards and there's the file that we copied. Simple. So it's always going to show you down below here which map folder is active, which is basically whichever folder that you've selected here. And that's just about it. Uh, I hope this has helped you and answered any questions that you have, but this is a really handy tool and it will just eliminate a lot of problems when you're playing your game. Thanks for joining me, folks.